Welcome to another video. I have decided to reorganize my bookshelves. They are organized alphabetically by author's last name right now. Um, and I just figured I want a little bit more variety in like the look of them because they're very like stagnant right now. I also like, as you can see, like don't have many spots um, left and reorganizing will help with that. So welcome. Uh, I have no idea how long this is going to take. Hopefully it'll just take today because I work tomorrow. Yeah, here we are. I'm ready. Let's get into it. So I just like hit a wall. Um, I got four shelves done um, and I mean my camera died so I had to break for like an hour so that the battery could charge but I came back and I decided I wanted to do more and now I'm just like so out of it and I don't even know how to organize any of these. I feel like I'm so stuck in everybody saying like there are three ways to organize things like by author, color, and then genre. And I'm trying to like break out of that um, and just go by like what looks good. Um, and <laughs> I think my brain is kind of having trouble understanding that like it doesn't like just go by vibes. Like it, it's okay. So I'm going to take a break. I will hopefully be back soon and with like a clear headspace. But it's going well so far, I'd say. I mean, four shelves done. I consider that a success. And they're not even just like four shelves done. They're four shelves done and shelves that I think look really cool, really good. And I was a little bit nervous for this reorganization just because in the past I have kind of found myself reorganizing and then it just all looks the same as it did before. Um, just like ever so slightly changed. So I think that I'm breaking out of that. I think that there are parts that are the same because I do want to keep um, like all my Tolkien books together and like series. I'm trying to keep series together. I'm I'm definitely having fun. I'm 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 excited that I'm doing it. So yay.
So it's about 5 p.m. Um, I've been going on and off pretty much all day. Here's what we have done so far. Um, I'm really liking how it's turning out. Uh, I do have, let me show you all the books that are on my shelves and that I need to put on my shelf still. So here are all the books that still need to go on my shelves. And here are my shelves. I think they look pretty cool. Obviously, this one and this one and this one aren't done yet. Also that one. But yeah, we have, I'm not doing it by genre. This is just like Tolkien and there's a couple fantasy books. This was a shelf that was like purely on vibes. I think it looks really cool. Um, fantasy mostly, gold and red and black. More gold, red, black. That is mostly middle grade, um, but I do love Wildwood, so that's there. Uh, this is like green, which I ran randomly did and I really like it. That's gonna be, I think, like maybe some blue books over here, but white books. And then this was another one that was kind of just on vibes. It's like black and red and kind of shimmery font. Pastels. Of, that's probably mostly romance, honestly, because romance mostly has pastel spines. This is like purple and pink. Cemetery Boys is my favorite book of, I think, 2020. It might be 2021. I don't know. This is, <laughs> I do love this shelf, though. It's gold and silver, um, and I really like it. This one's going to be more white books, <laughs> maybe some colorful ones. This one, I plan on having black and white, but I don't think I have a lot more black and white books left. This one, I, it's like, this one turned out to be sort of like a brown shelf. I have these books, which I've never known where to put because they're all different color spines and they kind of all just like mesh together and create brown. So I put them there. This one obviously is going to be like a reds and oranges and yellows shelf. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I think I can finish tonight. It might get really dark, um, but I do have work tomorrow. So if I do not finish, that's also like totally fine. It's not like in my way or anything on the floor and things. It'll keep me busy tomorrow after work, unless I'm like super tired. <laughs> um, I, I like this. I'm like, I'm like going through everything. It does look really busy which I am slightly frustrated by, but I don't think that, I think that'll kind of disappear once all the other books are in the shelves. And I might have to like take some out of the busy shelves and put them other places. But I am really liking this method though, because normally I've done it by genre and then within the shelves, it's like by color. And yeah, I've kind of done away with like keeping authors together and keeping colors together. I am slightly worried about all the series because I am trying to keep series together. I have so many series with like multicolored spines, like each book is a completely different color. So I'm not sure how that's going to turn out. We're getting somewhere and I am happy about it. like just in the nick of time too it's like almost sunset <laughs> um but look um I'm super happy with them um I'm so glad I went off of like vibes and not author or genre or anything it's I think it's the 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 best in my opinion that my bookshelves have looked since I got them in like 2021 so yeah, I mean, I might do a bookshelf tour. I don't know if I'll have the mental capacity for that. But for now, I'm just gonna like show you highlights. So here it is. Um, where to start? I think up here I kept all my Tolkien stuff. 
just because I love Tolkien. <laughs> um, and right here, I think, is my favorite little corner. Is like I have all my bookmarks here. This is The Great Gatsby, a really, really beautiful edition my sister got me for Christmas. And then I have my three other copies of The Great Gatsby here. Um, but this little corner is just, like, really cute. Um, I did put way more books facing out. Where? On this bookshelf, um, which is a little bit interesting for me because I feel like I never have enough books that I can do that. But obviously these Violent Delights is one of my favorites. Realm Breaker, also a favorite. Serpent and Dove isn't actually one of my favorite books, but the cover, I just, I love the cover, so it got a spot. Um, Red, White, and Royal Blue, obviously. Lord of the Rings. Cemetery Boys, which I said was my favorite book in 2021. Wings of Shadow, which was like probably my second favorite book in 2021. Or maybe even, this, this might have been favorite book in 2020. This might have been favorite book in 2021. Or 2022. I don't, I actually don't know. Um, I have my Harry Potter books and before you come for me, no, I do not support JK Rowling. She is uh, a very bad person. All of these books are either hand-me-downs or thrifted. I do not give any money to her. End of that conversation. Um, Wool, another absolute favorite. Gemina, another favorite. This, this shelf was super fun for me to do because all of these series suffer from the red green or red blue green um spine I don't like they just suffer from that uh ailment or whatever you want to call it but so and they're so hard to shelve and make them look pretty because it's just like red green blue red green blue red green blue so I did this like fun little gradient and I I'm happier than I would be if it was by series. There are, I think, four series on this shelf, but they're just ordered by color. It's, um, we have Curse of Dark and Lonely trilogy. We have This Mortal Coil trilogy. We have the Shiver trilogy, which I hold on to for dear life. I probably don't like it, but it was one of my absolute favorite books when I was in like seventh grade. Um, I know it's super trashy. <laughs> um, we have Scythe and The Hunger Games, obviously, which is the only black book on this entire shelf, and Divergent. So, yeah, I'm glad that I figured out a way to shelve the red, blue, green trilogies. Um, Ember in the Ashes, absolute favorite book of, like, it was literally, like, my top book for, like, half of 2020. Um, I do love Red Queen. I know it gets a bad rap, but it's one of my favorite series of all time. And Wildwood is actually a middle grade, um, but it's also just like such a stunning cover. And it's just a really, it's a really fun, fantastical, mystical, foresty book. So thank you for watching. Um, I have no idea how long this video is going to be. I totally thought it would not take me a day. I thought it would take me at least like two days to finish all of this, like full days of work. I'm very surprised that I got it all done and also in daylight because um, I don't have any like filming lights or anything. I think once I got in a groove every like couple hours or so, I just like got out, like banged out like three, four shelves. So yeah, yeah, halfway, halfway through the day I was like, I'm totally not finishing this today. But I kind of pulled it out of my ass in the last um, couple hours. I just had like the leftover, leftover. I had the rest of the books on my floor and I was just like, well, they got to go somewhere. <laughs> I'm super happy with it. I just re also realized it's like super light and colorful and light and colorful. And this is just like dark. <laughs> I do like it. I love it. Um, I have also way more space if I want to. I know this is like bad, but I want to, if I want to like acquire new books, it's not bad. It's just, I don't need them. I have so many that I can read. I hope you had a good time. I certainly did. Um, I have always loved watching bookshelf reorganizations from like other booktubers. So, and I, I, I've been meaning to reorganize uh, my shelves for a while. So I'm glad I just like did it today. 
and filming it honestly wasn't even that hard. Sometimes I didn't even realize the camera was still on. I will hopefully see you again sometime. <laughs>